Hello everybody, I am Jenny the Artsy Res, and welcome back to Ren- uh, Not Ren Mal, this is not Black Butler. <laughs> welcome back to Raymond's main story. And just to let you know, Ren Mal is a girl character from Black Butler, not a guy. I don't know why I was about to say Ren Mal. I had- I- my- I was not thinking of Ren Mal. <laughs> oh my. Let's continue on to chapter 9. Let's proceed to chapter 9. I open my eyes in the darkness of my room. I must have been asleep for quite a while. Spade, who had been near my feet, is nowhere in sight. I sit up and notice a letter underneath my pillow. Raymond? He must have come while I was asleep. I open the letter and read it, finally feel feeling a bit disappointed that he didn't wake me up. I want to discuss which, what we should do. When you feel better, come to my room. This is it? This simple letter reminds me very much of Ren Ma Of Raymond. Oh my goodness. What we should do. I'm guessing he wants to talk about the Rose Garden. But doesn't- But couldn't he have written the letter a little bit more sweetly? I get off the bed and put on some new clothes before I go to Raymond's Raymond's room. I run into Alfred and Rupert in the hallway. How did it go, Mina? Raymond returned- Raymond returned my feelings. Uh, oh. I was wondering about the Rose Garden, but- Sorry. I was just so happy. Ahem. So you were able to spend last night with him? Not really. I ended up falling ill last night. I ended up feeling ill last night. Is that so? How unfortunate. That's why I'm on my way to Raymond's room. I see. Take care. But- Oh. But he just wanted to talk about the Rose Garden. Do you guys want to come with? Are you serious? The two looked at each other. I'm kidding. Sorry. I laughed and apologized to the two. Aw. Mina! Well, well, Raymond is going to have a long road ahead. We should hurry to the Rose Garden. Let's... Let's meet in front of Titania's room after work. Sure, I'll meet- I'll tell Raymond too. We will open the doors to the Rose Garden. Everything should move forward at once, tonight at last. However, I want to see Raymond before that. I knock on the door to his room. And not even a second later, Raymond lets me in. You look better. He smiles in relief and brushes his hand against my cheek. Alfred suggested we meet in front of Titania's room after work. I was going to ask you about that too, but I guess that business is already taken care of. You can go back. I'm sure you have lots of work to do. I stare at his face in disbelief. Do you really? Did you really call me just for that? Were you hoping for something more? Of course I was. Of course I was hoping for something more. Is that a problem? I put my hands to my hips and retaliate. Where are you now? I apologize. And what exactly were you hoping for? Raymond leans on his desk and smiles. You know what it was. I would hear it from your mouth, Mina. Tell me so I'd understand. Oh. Uh, well. It's quite embarrassing to say it directly to him. I sigh and walk closer to him. I put my arms around his neck and pull him towards me, kissing him lightly on the lips. Are you sure I can really leave? No, I won't let you. Raymond lifts me up and sits me on his desk. He then puts a hand on my chin and kisses me hard. without knowing what to say. <laughs> um, well, I... Not knowing what to say, I stutter. I wasn't 
helping for anything, but... But... Raymond narrows his eyes and stares at me while I fidget. You mean... I puff up here. Raymond chuckles, leaning against the desk. Huh? Well... It's quite embarrassing to say it directly to him. This left challenges. Uh. Ma whoa! 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 <sighs> okay, well, I'm glad I got the boots. I just bought the boots yesterday. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Um. kissing me. He pushes up my dress and my legs become bare. I'll give you new shoes next time. A pair of shoes that will make your beautiful legs look even more stunning. Raymond drops a kiss on my thigh. Red heels would be nice. They look nice with a rose brooch. I might stumble if the heels are too high. It's alright. I'll be by your side. Just wear them when you're alone with me. Do you think I would let others see you so beautiful? You're unexpectedly possessive. I didn't think either. I didn't know either until now. I want to know more about you, the Raymond, even you don't know yourself. I'll teach you everything. Raymond embraces me. I press against the bed with his weight, and we share a deep, sweet kiss. His hand struck my body gently. It's not just your legs that are beautiful. It's your hair, your eyes, your skin, everything. Heat raises up in my body as he touches me. Ah, he's blushing. Pardon me. Show me everything, Nina. His hands touch my bare shoulders. As the clothing hiding my skin gets removed one after another, my body starts to burn with heat. Raymond! I close my eyes shyly. Nina, you truly are beautiful. He drops a kiss on my eyelid, and I open my eyes to see Raymond smiling. My hands put around Raymond's back, hold him even stronger. I feel the joy of being with him, with my entire body. Raymond holds me tight and whispers my name. I wish in my heart that this night would last forever. I am blessed with love in his arms. <sighs> um. Well, uh. Okay, we're still rolling. Rolling. <sighs> Sorry that it's dri sorry if it's driving everyone nuts. I just I just don't want anything to happen like uh I just 
just don't want to lose anything. I just don't want to lose anything. I pick up my clothes and put them back on, then fix my hair on the bed. I gently touch the bite mark that Raymond had left on my neck. I'm sorry I bit you so hard yesterday. It's fine now. It's fine now. Please don't worry. To tell you the truth, your blood was the first human blood I've tasted. Really? Yes, I didn't have the need to drink, and I didn't become a vampire because I wanted to. You said Harold made you into a vampire. When I was still a human, I almost died from a severe illness. Harold sucked my blood and made me his belonging to save me. Oh, he did. Harold must not have wanted Raymond to die, no matter what, since he was a dear friend. When I first became a vampire, I had to drink someone's blood to keep my body stabilized. But I was reluctant to drink a human's blood, so I refused to do so. That's why Harold had, that's why Harold had me drink his blood. So, I've never drank blood from anyone other than Harold. So, let me get this right. He, wait, music stopped. He hasn't had blood in 500 years? I'm honored to be your first human. And how was it? Did my blood taste good? Raymond sits, ne sits next to me and pulls my shoulders toward him. It was too good. I don't think I'll ever be able to let you go. He whispers in my ear and kisses my cheek. I hug him and return the kiss on his lips. You can taste it as much as you want, both my blood and me. Raymond smiles and looks back at me, as you wish. Raymond gently pushes me down on the bed. Day 10. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. This is... Raymond and I return, hurry to Titania's room. Alfred is already there and is standing before the doors. You're late. Alfred has his arms crossed and is rocking his body, annoyed. You two look like you had fun. Don't be jealous. It's unbecoming. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry to be late. Here, this is my pendant. I quickly take out my pendant. That's definitely Titania's. Yeah, I remember it. Where's Ri Where's Rupert? Is he not coming? He said he'd come once the doors open. So what should we do with this? Fill the hollow and prove your bloodlines to present your love for each other. Alfred traces the dent on the door with his fingers. That hollow, maybe? I insert the red stone of the pendant into the dent. The stone fits perfectly. The stone fits exactly and doesn't fall, even when I let go. The back of the pendant space and the gold chain shimmer on top of the doors. The hollow is filled. the RT Rose and I shall see you in the next video. This is kind of exciting.